Persona 5 is one of the most important games in 2016. I want to make a more complete review once I finish it, but it just happens that this game is huge. It will take too long for me to do it. So for now, those are my first impressions of Persona 5. You can notice that the atmosphere in Persona 5 is completely different from the previous game. In Persona 4, everyone was very friendly with the main character. He and his group of friends were famous as the good kids on school who could solve any problem. But this is completely different in Persona 5. Everyone treats the main character like he's a big hindrance. And that's because he got himself involved in a very nasty case. And as a result, he was expelled from his previous school. The only school that accepted him was in another city. And since he doesn't have any relatives living there, his parents asked a friend to take care of him for one year. Thanks to his bad reputation, the protagonist and his friends turned into the biggest delinquent group in his new school. That's pretty different from the Heroes of Justice that was your main party from Persona 4, right? Especially because those guys in Persona 5 want revenge. At least, at first. As it was expected, there was a huge improvement in graphics over Persona 4. Now the cutscenes have many camera angles, and it gives a more cinematic feel to the game. And since the 3D models are way more detailed, you can see the characters doing all sorts of animations. This means that the game looks much less like a visual novel now. But the visual novel aspect is still present in the game, and it also got some improvements. Like those little animations cutscenes to show the character's emotions. I know a lot of people complained about Persona 4 because it has a very slow start. They fixed that in Persona 5. The start of the game is filled with exploration, battles, and awesome music. It helps to give you the gist of the game, but it will take a couple hours to get into the first dungeon. And that's where you will learn about battles and explorations, and how they work in this game. The battles are way faster, and now it's much easier to choose actions, thanks to the many improvements in the menus and interface. Now every character has two types of weapons, a melee weapon and a projectile, which is similar to Raido Kuzunoha's style. Stealth is a big part during dungeon's exploration, but thanks to the great level design, the cover command works really well, and by using it, it's much easier to get enemies by surprise. The dungeons are not random generated anymore, but they are still huge. Nevertheless, they don't get repetitive, and that's because every dungeon has different gimmicks and puzzles. Perhaps the best improvement in Persona 5 is the way how you get new Personas. Similar to the main games in the Shin Megami Tensei series, you now need to have conversations with the demons in order to turn them into new Personas. Those conversations can be very interesting and funny to watch, and if the negotiations go well, you can also get money and rare items. To start a conversation with demons, all you need to do is to attack all the enemies on screen with their weak points. The message hold up will appear on screen, and it will give you the option to do a team attack, and right below, the option to negotiate. There are also situations where the demons are completely cornered, which makes they beg for mercy. When this happens, you can also negotiate with them. 
but you will skip through the conversations and questions and get what you asked for right away. If for whatever reason you lost a persona and you want it again, you don't need to have the same conversation with the same demon again. The next time you have the opportunity to talk with this demon, you can just pick this option to skip the conversation, and the demon will recognize you and become your persona again. This should be enough for now. I will get more in depth and make a more complete review once I finish the game, but it may take some months for me to do so. For the time being, if you have any questions about Persona 5, just leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Bye!